Okay, you are welcome to this professional video training course on building quality world class websites using WordPress content management system. Okay, so in our last video, we realized it was installing, our WordPress was installing, and now the installation has complete. So, right now, it's a congratulations, the software was installed successfully. Okay, WordPress has been installed at eastendireblog.com you can see that that's the domain name there and um, administrative URL tenderblog so we can right click on this and open on a new tab you see that you see the extension WP admin most times when you want to confirm if any website is built using WordPress you tap slash what WP admin and you see that coming up um, usually it's going to request for your username and your password and since I've actually installed before now all you get is is going to log in straight away but you can actually come here this is what we call your dashboard this is it this is your dashboard so if you are seeing this for the first time it's not don't look at it as something strange something so simple and very simple to use so very quickly, let's do some little navigation. You can come back here and you do what? You can log out. You can go up there, yes, stand, and edit your personal profile. You know, you are the sole administrator of the page. So right now, you can now change your, your password. You don't like the password you use. It was so simple. You can change your password. You can do even the background color when you log in. Understand? You can change that. You can make a lot of things happen. You can add your first name here. You can say um, that your name is um, Johnson. Johnson. Understand? Lizzie. Nickname. Understand? Display public name as Ella Johnson. You can now change it. You see that? Nickname required. You can put uh, J. Lizzie. Okay? So, J. Lizzy, you can now use what? J. Lizzy, Lizzy Johnson, Johnson, Lizzy, or you leave it out at me. Contact information, you can now change this to your personal email, your website. Give information about yourself. You see some blog, and what you notice is at the end of each of the post, there will be brief information about yes, and the writer of that particular post. This was being done. You can even put a picture. Yes, and you can generate a new password. You, you get that now. So I thought you must have done what you do. You update your profile. At the same time, you con let's consider the fact that um, there are let's say this is a new site, for example. You are building Africa new site, and what you want to do now is what you have a number of editors, you have a number of other guys who are going to be uploading stuff on the site. So what do you do? You can actually what add new here. You can add new to your that's add new user now. You can add new user like wow, there is another guy who is going to be uploading content to this site. Probably an editor. Or for example, another thing is this: you want somebody to do something. For example, this was obtainable. Probably you are a fiber. You render services on Fiverr relating to web design, and then um, the user need to send you information. You understand? Probably the user has been able to like set up a WordPress. If the user hasn't been able to install WordPress, what the user will do is what send you your domain. That's um, the cPanel login. You install, good, and you already send probably the username and the password. The person can log in to the dashboard. Right now. Some users actually have some challenge on what to do, or there's one error or the other on the side that they need to work on. But what they can actually do, or the same thing with you too, you need me to probably install a particular plugin so there's an error. And what do you do? Or you want to create a new account for a new user? It's simple. So here yeah, now you know what? Um, say so the username that's required is a quickly come there is a Gideon, Gideon email address. Paramount site, for example, at gmail.com. First thing you say, um, Sunday, yes, 
Sunday Wisdom. This last name website is it the smart panel. Pen is not composure. Show password, you see? Something is there. The previous version you can actually input the conventional first password, second password. But this time around, you are expected to generate password here. Yeah? This time. But before then, and you can also send the new password this time via email to this person email. So you can show password. You see that? Very strong password. You can always change this password. So what you do is you can call to the password. I made this guy what? He contributed to our manager. But for example, it's me. Now you're adding like I'm adding you as an administrator. So I need you to help me do this, do this on the site. And uh, once you are done, you do that. As in without wasting time. That is done already. So creating I've copied that um password and what I can do is I can quickly make sure what I take it out my notepad I paste as my password I was my username Gideon it's important you know that those two so I can quickly put that there username Gideon or what do you have next password that yes. you see that Sunday so wisdom this time he has not made any post here yeah? as he has not put anything online so quickly so this guy now probably when he's done what can you do you can edit the content of this season the details you can edit the details to probably he's done with the administrative work you don't need him anymore or the same thing applicable you can change the buying info and um, you know what? Probably change this guy now, or no role, or uh, make him what an editor or a contributor. Once you've done that, what have you updated the user? It's not misunderstood. So we are just going to look at the overview of our dashboard here. So, for example, you have um, your settings, writing, media. Where you put your upload or your images, you have everything set here. Then I have blog, you can change this now. Site title, just on the official blog for Ultimate and I Foundation. You can change that content. You understand your email address, just like we got it in the course of installation. You can change it now. Yes, and you have that. So, on and on, you have your writing and um, your reading. You have different settings here. Eh? I can actually, I can actually alter the stand of the admin room here. Yeah? So, the fourth post category when anybody posts without specifying the the particular category, what should it be? Or category the first post format. We will see all these things much later in the course of our work. So, your media, your media has to do with pictures and videos you are going to be uploading on your site. Yes, and the sizes listed below determine the maximum dimension it used to use when adding an image to the media library. You can change this medium size, maximum size. You can alter anything from here. You are the admin guy. Yes, and. Okay, so the same way this users, your tools, available tools, you have um, plugins. Yes, and from here, you can install your plugins. We're going to be looking at how to install plugins after now, what the plugins are. Yes, and then um, we are going to come here to look at your appearance. Appearance, you see teams. You see also we're looking at uh, comment. When we make comment on your website, whether you disallow the comment, you allow the comment. These are pre-installed plugins already. Yes, and you have the teams on the appearance, customize. You have the widget. You have menus. You have background. You have your comment. You have your pages. You also have what your media is your media library. You have your post. You see that your post, or like your blog post. You have your pages. That's a dashboard. This is basically how a new installed WordPress page actually look like. That's it. So from here on now, 
for example, this is our page black. Nothing is there. All these things as the default settings from our team. This is the default. It could be any team at all. So right now, we now look at building our website. So turn our block. Let's build it up very quickly. So in our next video, we are going to be looking at um, installing. We are going to be looking at installing team. You can install a new team. So we are going to use this team first, and later we we'll change the team to a different team. Just like again and again. Okay. So plugins too. We are going to be installing new plugins. I'm going to be creating my news and another thing. So let's end this video here. Where in the next video we'll look at creating a how to install plugins now and team. Let's look at that. Install it and plugins. Okay. So see you in the next video shortly after that. Thank you.